Hi everyone, Anshul this side from RK Overseas Education and today we are at Heidelberg. So I am sitting with one of my student, uh, Suryansh, uh, who is from, from Delhi and he is currently pursuing his uh, master's course in Computer and Data Science from Institute of Heidelberg. So we assisted uh, Suryansh for the complete admission and application process in Germany as well as for the visa assistance process and today in this video we will be discussing about uh, how to get admission into data science course in a German public university and what are the new changes or the rules that will be coming up uh, in Germany henceforward uh, in terms of getting admission here in the uh, specifically for the data science course in a public university in Germany. So let's introduce Suryansh first. Uh, hi Suryansh. Uh, Hello. Hi. Can you please give an introduction first to the viewers? So my name is Suryan Chaturvedi and I am currently pursuing Masters in Data and Computer Science in the University of Heidelberg. So I came here this winter semester and I have been here around a month now and I currently I like Heidelberg University and I think it's a very good great university to come here. Right. So, like he, Suryansh got admission into this course in data science, data and computer science in Heidelberg uh, in winter 22 intake. So, like in, in this particular video, we'll be discussing about his profile uh, in order to like when he applied for data science uh, course in Germany, as well as we'll be also discussing about how easy or how difficult is it to get into a data science sort of a course in a German public university. Now, few things which is which are very important. First, I would like to discuss about. Uh, the the study background or the academic background that you have in india that is your bachelor studies if you're applying for a master's course uh, here in germany so your bachelor's background you had a four-year bachelor's of technology in computer science right yes so now when someone has let's say a four years of b-tech degree back in india or a b engineering degree back in india you have eight semesters right in eight semesters you have a great point which is going to be between 182 to 210 grade points generally you have in Indian universities. Now here in Heidelberg, because this course was introduced in 22 itself, right? This you are the first batch for this course. No, no, no. I am the first batch for from India in this course. Okay, from this, India. Yeah, this like this course has been going on from around two three years now. Okay, all right. So uh, earlier, this course was only open for this European candidates. Yes. yes. And was it a a restricted admission back then? Uh, no, it was only open for European, but it was open, uh, I guess, for them also. Okay, but it, it, it probably might just be a German dot program. Yes, right? it right. was a German dot program right. before. So this this course, uh, Data and Computer Science program in Heinz City of Heidelberg, this was a German dot program back then. From this winter 22 intake, this program was open for all the international students as well. Plus, this course was made as non-districted admission criteria, which is like in Germany it is called as non-NC, in which a anyone who applies to this particular course and if the, if you fulfill the criteria, you have a 99% chance of getting admission into this particular course. Now, what happened? Uh, since the number of applications was huge when when they received the application this this time around, which is why there have been now changes not only in Heidelberg University but there are many other universities who are making these changes. There, they will be from uh, moving forward they will be introducing the minimum number of grade points you would be requiring in your bachelor studies in specific subject modules for example you might be asked to present 20 or 30 cts or grade points in subjects which are based in mathematics to get admission into into data science course right as well as apart from mathematics they might be also asking for statistics based courses which you have studied in your bachelor's back in india along with the computer science subjects so it's it's not going to be easy i would say for any student uh, who wish to pursue data science however you always have the option of opting for subjects back in india also which are mostly oriented towards mathematics and theoretical computer science if you are planning for going to uh, data science sort of a course so surya is like you had btech in computer science in india right so uh, can, like do you, do you remember like how many subjects of mathematics or, or let's say computer science you had in terms of grade points so if i for if i would say approximately i had uh, four subjects of mathematics in the starting then after that maths like uh, from second year first semester it was the last mathematics mathematics 3 that we did then after that only computer science subjects were there and in computer science i think there were around 10 to 12 subjects right now 
generally when you do a B.Tech in computer science, you have mathematics one, two, three. Plus some some people also have discrete mathematics or stats as well. So that accounts to almost twenty sort of grade points, right? Now that is always going to be one of the requirement, uh, not only in Heidelberg, but if you also see other universities like. For example, if you see LMU Muni Data Science course, or perhaps uh, you got admission into this Paderborn University as well, right? So in yes. Paderborn as well, when you see the the university website, you'll you'll find out that they have specifically mentioned all the credit points required required in each each of the study modules. Now, this is one important factor to get into a data science sort of a course. Second is that since the program is being completely offered in English, hence. You have to appear for either for IELTS exam or you have to appear for TOEFL exam. So, what was your IELTS score? Uh, my IELTS score was around seven point five. Right. So now seven point five is is a score which makes you eligible to apply to any public university if you are going for English taught program. The maximum that a public university here in Germany asks for IELTS score is going to be seven, not more than that at all. However, six point five is also a decent enough uh, marks or bands in IELTS which will. Uh, fulfill the criteria of most of the university. However, if let's suppose apart from IELTS, if you are planning to give for TOEFL exam, then make sure that your your score in TOEFL is above 90 out of 120. If you be if you give the computer based exam, so this is let's say a mandatory requirement. They they have been cases wherein universities have also sort of uh, given admission on the basis of mid obstruction uh, of your bachelor's degree. However, now. With the introduction of the APS certificate back in India, when you apply for a visa, they are asking for mandatory B2 requirement in terms of English language proficiency. So that is going to be something which everyone needs to take care of if you are planning to apply for a master's in Germany. Third, uh, third, I would say that in some of the university, GRD is always recommended. Like it's it's not mandatory, but it's always strongly recommended. So was it uh, like you have you you have not given the GRD no, exam, right? Now. When you applied for Paderborn University, in Paderborn also uh, they have made a mandatory requirement of GRE now. It was not earlier, but now they have they have made it a mandatory requirement. So similarly, given the scenario that is so many of the Indian students or perhaps the international students are now applying to German public universities, there will be enhancement in the eligibility criteria. So if you are planning to apply for masters in Germany, if you have time, if you are in the last year of let's say of your bachelor's studies, you could plan to give your GRE exam, but only after giving the IELTS exam because IELTS is again a mandatory part. However, GRE is something which will completely depend on the university's requirement. It's not mandatory yet. Fine. So now we have covered three important points. One was your credit points back in your bachelor's uh, in India or, or let's say from wherever country that you are coming here in Germany for. Second, the important point was uh, your IELTS score or the English proficiency score that you need to have. Third, third was GRE that we discussed. It's not a mandatory but it's always going to be strongly recommended. Fourth important point is even though the master's course that we, we also apply for and, and what Suryans is also pursuing, it's an English taught master's program here in Institute of Heidelberg. However, coming forward, because of the huge number of applications that the German public universities are receiving, in order to make this a bit more difficult for the applicants, they might be introducing mandatory German language requirement up to B1 or B2 level as well. Not let's say for the summer 23 intake, however, you can expect this to happen in the winter 23 intake. Hence, if you have plans to apply for Germany for your master's program, please make sure that you start learning the German language as well because completing up to b1 or perhaps up to b2 level may take up to six to eight months of your complete if you study german dedicately then only you will be able to complete b2 in in eight months so this is something which is very important even now also there are many universities who are even though if they are giving english taught masters program they are still asking for a1 or a2 level of german language proficiency certificate so this is something which you should also consider uh, second, uh, like the fifth point which I was uh, discussing with Suryansh also, that the marks that you secure in India, let's say in BTEC, uh, how much percentage of CGPA you had? I scored 8.1. 8.1. And when we converted this into German reading system, it was coming out to be 1.9? Yeah, 2.1, 1.9. 2.1, 2.9. let's say 2. Now, 2 is a decent, let's say, German grade if you apply to other technical courses not i'm not talking about mechanical engineering because that is again a very competitive course here in germany but for data science and computer science two is going to be a difficult mass for you to get admission into in the next year intake because of the number of applications again so 
if you could like probably try to score as much as possible back in your bachelor's degree in India, try to have a CGP of above at least above eight. Only then you can expect to have your chances of getting admission into computer science or data science out of a course here in German public university. Right, so these are the five important points which I wanted to discuss with you. Like if you are planning to to come in Germany for English taught master's program in data science or let's say computer science sort of a program, please maintain uh, a sort of a consistency in your academic background back in India if you are pursuing your bachelor's degree and also start focusing on German language. So uh, if you have any question related to, to applying for this summer 23 intake or let's say the next year 2023 intake, you can obviously contact us through email or you can call us as well. And I would like to thank again Suryansh uh, for giving his time uh, and showing us the city around and the university as well. So keep watching us, keep supporting us and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.